Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the shortlist in the IMO 2019. It says, find all triples A, B, C that are all positive integers, such that A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed equals A, B, C whole squared. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is a very um, typical Darfantin equation that involves polynomials of different powers, and when we come to um, polynom uh, come to equations with both sides having different powers, then um, the bounding technique would uh, be very useful. So, be also from the equation is a symmetric um, Darfantin equation, as in even uh, we swap the positions of A, B, or between uh, B, C, or even rotate them, as in by writing A, B, C by into uh, C, A, B, then uh, the whole equation is still the same one. So I can do the following, is that whole log assume that A is greater than or equal to B, and that's greater than or equal to C. So I kind of um, assuming that A is the largest and C is the smallest, and I'm going to do some bounding. So the first thing, uh, most obvious one, is that I can reduce left-hand side to just one variable, 3A cubed. Now then, ABC whole squared must be at most 3A cubed, and so b squared c squared is at most 3a. This is very important because we know that um, the greatest um, number inside this equation uh, times 3 is already um, at least the square of the other two multiplied. Now on the other hand, we have a squared dividing the sum of cubes and of course, a squared divides a cubed individually. So, so we have a squared divides b cubed plus c cubed. And in particular, because I'm looking for bounds here, I'm going to write a squared is less than or equal to b cubed plus c cubed. Now, I'm going to use these two inequalities and combine them together. So b squared c squared over 3 whole squared is less than or equal to a squared and is also less than or equal to b cubed plus c cubed. So b to the 4 c to the 4 over 9 is less than or equal to b cubed plus c cubed. Now that's very interesting because the, um, the left hand side, the smaller side, has degree 8 and we're talking about positive integers. So B and C must be very very small. And now I even divide B to the B cubed to the right hand side, and I'll have C to the 4 B over 9 less than or equal to 1 plus C over B whole cubed. And the right side can't even exceed 2. So C to the 4 times B is less than or equal to 18. And um, so basically at this point C can only be 1 or 2, but if C equals to 2 then b also has to be at least 2, so c to the 4 times b is at least 32, so contradiction. Therefore, we know that the smallest number is 1. So that's the first part. Now back to the equation. It becomes a cubed plus b cubed plus 1 equals a squared b squared. And now we write that into b squared times a squared minus b equals a cubed plus 1. And clearly, um, they cannot be both 1. And so a is at least 1. So not at least one, but greater than one, because a cannot be one. So uh, then a squared minus b is positive, and we know this. 
of course I can try to simplify that a bit so now I've reduced the power to 2 for both sides and I'm going to see whether A can be equal to B if A equals to B then the original equation becomes one plus two a cubed equals a to the four and that's clearly not true because then we will have this product equals to one and a equals to one which contradicts what we have got above if a is one then we're forcing b to be one because a is the largest one largest um, variable so now we know that a is larger than b or i can say A is at least B plus 1. Now because 1 plus AB is divisible by A squared minus B, I can say 1 plus AB is greater than or equal to A squared minus B. And I can rewrite this into A times B plus 1 minus B. So to create some form of AB here, I can, I can reduce that later on that is equal to a b plus a minus b and we know that a minus b is actually at least 1 so we realize that after doing all those bounds um, the upper bound and lower bound are the same so equality holds all the way in between equality, equality and equality here so therefore I actually have a equals b plus 1. Now I'm going to put this back into um, the original equation. It becomes a cubed plus a minus 1 whole cubed plus 1 equals a squared times a minus 1 whole squared. And so a cubed plus 1 equals a minus 1 whole square times a square minus a plus 1. So it's just um, ordin ordinary algebra. I uh, factorize left hand side. And um, after some algebra, we have this. The first part has no real roots because it's actually this by committing a squares. So a can only be 0 or 3 and of course a cannot be 0. So a is 3 and therefore b is 2. So a, b, c are 3, 2, 1 and of course and its permutations because we have just assumed that A is the largest one, but A of course can also be say, the smallest one. Now check. In this case, A, A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed would then be 36, while A, B, C whole square is also 36. So it's true. So yeah, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.